This video will cover using the Yo web phone to make and receive calls on your computer. Start by going to portal.yovu.ca at the top of your screen and select Yovu web phone. If this is your first time using the web phone, please allow access to your microphone. Confirm that the headset or microphone you want is selected and shows activity. And select your output device that the call's audio will be played on. Also allow browser notifications. We highly recommend that the web phone is installed as an app. To perform this, select this icon. Then select install. Windows may uh, prompt you to pin this program to your taskbar. You may select yes from here or manually pin it by right-clicking on the icon on the taskbar and selecting pin or unpin. You are now ready to use the web phone. There are two views, a condensed view and a full-size view. These can be changed simply by resizing the window. There are several ways to make a call using the Yovo web phone. Select the dialer icon along the left navigation menu, type in a number, and then press enter or the green call button. Alternatively, use the search function and select a name. From this view, you may also see if they are already on a call. To answer a call, press the green answer button on the web phone. To transfer a call using the Yovo web phone, first select the transfer button. And then we can choose to transfer either from the list of internal contacts or dial a new number. If we select contacts, we can select what user we'd like to transfer to or use the search to find the user's name or by their extension. Before we complete the transfer, there are two options, blind transfer or assisted transfer. A blind transfer allows us to transfer the call directly to the recipient with no introduction. Assisted transfer will allow us to speak to the transfer recipient before completing the call. To conference, start an active call and select the Add Call button. Choose to add either internal contact or to dial a new number. You can speak to the conference members before initiating the conference. So switch between the two active calls, you can press Swap Calls. Or we can click on the numbers above. Pressing Merge Call initiates the conference. On the left-hand row, you can easily access additional features. You can manage a lot of your extensions features from the web phone. Here's how you can do this. From the Contacts tab, we can view a list of available internal contacts or use a search to find a specific contact. Selecting their name allows you to start a chat session or initiate a call. The Call History tab shows you your recent call history. The call history can be filtered by all, missed, inbound, or outbound. The Voicemail tab allows you to read, play, call back, save, forward, or delete messages. When forwarding a voicemail, you may search the user's name or select from the list. Greetings. To create a new voicemail greeting, select the plus button. Give the greeting a name and click on the microphone icon to begin recording. Once you are done recording, press the stop. You may review the recording, then press save. To set this as your default voicemail greeting, select the newly created greeting and then press set as default check mark. Chat and SMS. If your company has enabled texting to your office direct number, text messages may be accessed from here. You can also initiate new text messages or reply easily. This tab can also be used for internal chats for other portal and web phone users. Your conversations may also be added to the grid card. Call parks. To park a call if your company has call parking enabled, while on an active call, click the Park Call button. Now we can configure which configured slot to park the call to. 
To retrieve a park call, select the phone icon next to the call that was parked. Answering rules. Answering rules allows you to change the behavior of your inbound calls. The most common use would be to change your status to do not disturb. Please contact your administrator if you would like to add this as an option or any other custom answering rule settings. Status can be changed by dragging and dropping the rule to the top of the list. Settings. Ensure your audio devices you would like to use for your calls are selected. You can select your microphone, audio output for call, also audio output for the ringtone. You may also change the ringtone from this menu. You are now ready to use your web phone. Thank you for watching this video. Reach out to support at my.yovu.ca if you have any more questions.